everyone. Welcome back to a Reading with Tatiana. I'm back to my regular programming. Hopefully for October I'll be able to read a few more books than I did in September. We won't have the chance to read two. So today I'm reviewing The Golden Couple by two authors, Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. And I gave this book a 4 out of 5. Before I go into my full book review, I always like to do a booktuber shout-out. Today's shout-out goes out to Read with Kate. Uh, I saw her because I was looking at booktube newbie tags. She posted a few months ago and she has been regularly uploading. Her genre that she seems like to focus that she seems to like to focus on is thrillers. So I'll link her channel down below and I'll go show her some support. And as always, if you're watching this video, I'll always appreciate if you can like, comment, and also if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button. This book was published last year in 2022 and the genre is thriller slash domestic like relationships super juicy i love this kind of thriller uh, it can be done pretty well i think really easy for me to get sucked into uh, but sometimes it can be done very poorly so a bit about the offers as i mentioned this is a co-author book the first one is greer hendrix she is uh she has co-written four books or uh, three other books in addition to this one with sarah peckin which i think is really cool uh, prior to being a an author, she did her master's in journalism at Columbia and then she spent two decades as an editor at Simon & Schuster, which is a very prolific publisher for books. I think if you ever look at the publishing house of the book you read, there's a good chance that it's Simon & Schuster. Um, so she's written co-written four books with Sarah Pekinen and she's working right now to write her own debut novel. Sarah Pekinen, she First of all, I want to say, if you have the time, please check out her personal author website. Her About Me is great to read. I always love it when authors go into more than just like the professional high-level accomplishments and kind of go into this personable essay of their life, hobbies, and interests. And I really enjoyed Sarah's About Me, so definitely check it out if you have the time to. Uh, prior to being an author, she was a journalist, and she changed her career into being an author when she had three sons. And in addition to the four books she has co-written with Greer Hendricks, she also has her own novels, I think there's eight, and also a collection of short stories. So as this is a thriller, when I talk about the story and the premise of the book and the characters, I can't talk about it too much because I want to remain as spoiler-free as possible so you can also read this book and enjoy it. So, you know, this is very high level. So we start with Avery, she is an unconventional therapist now she's technically a consultant because she lost her rights to be called a therapist. And the reason why she has lost her rights to be a therapist is because her unconventional methods led her to kind of stepping into her like client's lives a bit more, getting more hands on and that kind of stuff. Um, and then basically she's approached by Marissa who is a potential, potential client. And Marissa takes along, or brings along her husband Matthew and their high school sweethearts. Uh, who, you know, gone for a break and that kind of stuff and now married with a son, Bennett, who's seven years old. And basically, Marissa and Matthew come see Avery as a couple's, counsel uh, couples counseling. Um, and the reveal to start the story off is that Marissa actually had an affair or just a one-time cheating with someone at the gym. And this kind of starts the book going and that kind of stuff. We kind of have this domestic relationship of Marissa and Matthew. Avery's now jumped in. And because Avery is an unconventional therapist, she kind of, you know, observes them more than just what happens at the coupling se uh, counseling session. So that's the premise of the book. Super juicy, really good. The common themes of this book, as you can probably guess, as we're talking about infidelity and marriage and that kind of stuff, is the idea of being, uh, of having open communication and being honest with your partner and also especially going through counseling. If you're not being honest to your therapist, then what's the point? How can they give you good feedback or guide you? The other thing that I like about this book is the idea of relationships. As I said, Matthew and Marissa are high school sweethearts or have known each other since high school, but they also talk about people that Matthew have dated when they had a break. They also talk about Avery, the, count, uh, the counselor's uh, relationships. She has like a casual one during this book. She has like a few month relationship. And it also talks about her late husband's uh, relationship and that marriage and how that dissolved. I really like it because I feel like our, a lot of mainstream media talks about relationships, finding the one and that's it. But this book talks about all these different types of relationships that can be filling even if they're not the one or the one you marry. Um, also, other topics is the idea of revenge, the idea of loyalty and love, which you can probably guess because of the premise of this book. And I think one thing that 
this book kind of touched on for me is the idea of being a woman uh, or not the idea the reality of being a woman and the importance of feeling safe in your environment and how when you don't feel safe how it can be very debilitating as i gave this book a4 there weren't too many things i didn't like i will caveat like i don't think this book is going to win any awards however it was a very good juicy patron book so one thing I didn't like is because it is a thriller, I understand the authors have to put red herrings to kind of detract you from the from thinking from revealing the the ending too early. However, I thought there were some side characters and plots that were used as red herrings that became too quintessential part of the book, and in the end, it wasn't part of anything. So that was kind of frustrating when the ending came. But it's fine. I get it. It's a thriller. That's my only feedback. Um, things I did like is it's page turner. I love there were some great red herrings despite the ones that weren't amazing. And also I love how the book was told in two perspectives back and forth between Avery and Marissa. I kind of wonder because this is the first time I've read a book that's done by two authors if they actually took turns writing each as each character because if that's the case that, that'd be really awesome. On Goodreads this book got an average of 3.99 out of 5. I think it's pretty accurate. I think people didn't like it because this is my one of my book club book club books, and one of my friends didn't like it because they thought other characters were insufferable and flawed and not really cheering for anyone, which I can't agree with. But for me, usually I hate that, but for this book it just worked. So those are some of the bad reviews. They hated all the characters. They weren't cheering for anyone. It was just awful. And I also thought the couple was super boring. Marissa and Matthews. Reasons why people like this book on Goodreads is they thought lots of twists and turns and you truly don't really know what the ending is going to be until like the last chapter which I think is always a good sign and I think people who love this genre just love th the thrill behind reading this book. Why I think you should read this book? I think you should read it if you love thrillers and if you also love thrillers that are focused on marital relationships. Now I'll share how this book made me feel because if someone recommends a book to me I love to ask them how to make them feel because if you ask me in a week, a year, five years from now, I probably won't remember exactly what a book was about, but I remember how it made me feel. So The Golden Couple by Gria Hendricks and Sarah Pakenham, it made me feel on the edge of my seat. I loved it, I binged it, it was great, I just wanted to know what's going to happen next. Great book. That's the end of my book review for The Golden Couple by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pakenham. If you've read this book, I'd love to hear what you thought down below. If you made it till the end, please comment down below that you did so I know that you've made it till the end. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!